Twilio SendGrid's REST API makes it super simple for you to send your first email in five minutes or less. In this video, we'll show you how it works with Node.js, but if you use any of these languages on the screen right now, there's a helper library that has you covered. Let's see how it works. Your app makes a post request to slash mail slash send over in SendGrid, and SendGrid sends an email to your user's inbox. It's that simple. We'll start by creating an API key under Settings by going to the API Keys section. Click the Create API button, and give it a name, we'll call this one YouTube key, and select restricted access. Scroll down to where it says mail send and give access for this key to send mail. Scroll down and hit create and view. Copy this out and put it in an environment variable on your system. Head over to your terminal and create a new directory for your project, I'll call mine send email node, change into that directory and run npm init dash dash yes to create a new npm project. Then run npm install at sendgrid slash mail to install the node helper library for sendgrid. Then we'll create a file called send-mail.js and open it in a text editor. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. We'll create the sg mail object by requiring sendgrid slash mail and we'll set the API key on it using the value that you've stored in the environment variable that we just got out of the API key creation process. Next, we'll create a message object. We'll set the to to brent from twilio at gmail.com. I'll set the from to brent from twilio at gmail.com. I'll set the subject line to sending with sendgrid is fun. I'll set the text for the email, if it's a plain text email, to and easy to do anywhere even with node. And then if we're sending it to an HTML capable email client, I'll add a strong tag around that same text. Then we'll use the sgmail object to send the message that we just created. Head back over to the terminal and run node send-mail.js and the email will be sent. If I take a look in my mail client, there's our email sent from node.js. If you're curious about the status of your email, you can head to the activity section to check out your email activity. Up here, you can filter by the to address. So if we punch in brent from twilio at gmail.com and hit search, we'll see the email pop up in the list below. And if we click on it, we can see more details about it to see if it got stuck along the way or if it got delivered, etc. Let us know when you've sent your first email down in the comments below.